Bev Adams. I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up. This is our card for this week. It is made with balloon celebration. And on the inside, it's got a fun pop-up. This pop-up is made with the party pop-up thinlet. Paper supplies, an envelope, a piece of four and a quarter by 11 watermelon wonder, scored at five and a half for the card base. For the inside, we're going to have a four by 10 and a half inch very vanilla scored at five and a quarter. I have a piece of very vanilla that is five by three and three quarters. A piece of designer series paper from the Pretty Petals six by six stack. Some of the designs do have an up and down. If you're cutting, pay attention to that. And I also have two pieces of three eighths by four. This paper is six by six. And so if you cut it at four and then you cut off your two three eighths inch strips from here, um, you'll have the right length. I'm also using some of the Wild Wasabi half inch seam binding ribbon. We're going to start off by cutting with the um, thinlet. I want to cut out my thinlet first. This thinlet has two points. This one's easy to see. This one's a little harder to see because it's between the candles, but you can see the point of it. We're going to cut out the designer series paper and that inside layer at the same time. So I want to center this. It's not critical, but I want to have it kind of centered there. Put that on my magnetic platform and a cutting plate. And then I want to put that point low with those points right on the crease. And I'll cover that up and I'll run that through the Big Shot. And that does a very nice job of cutting both layers. But just to be sure, just kind of check to make sure it cut all the way through, and it did. And there are quite a few little pieces, so I'm going to use my Big Shot die brush. I store mine in, I store the foam in the standard size case and the brush in the wood mount case. I do have these inserts on my website if you need them. And I'm just going to run the brush over the letters. And they pop right out. Carefully separate these two. You are going to use all of this, but we really just want the cake portion and the candle portion. So we're going to snip off, it's kind of hard to see, I'm going to snip off next to the Y in birthday and next to the Y in happy and next to the B in birthday and next to the H and then I'm also going to trim this across. You could use your trimmer for that if you'd like. And we are going to use this piece for this border around here. You're going to adhere this. You can really use any any adhesive but I am using the fine tip glue pen. I'm going to pull in my silicone sheet and put just a little bit of glue. I want to pay attention to the outside edges, the candle, and I also want to pay attention to that center portion. When you're done with the glue, put the pointer back in to keep that flowing. And I always like to have tweezers around. So I'm just going to lay that directly on top of the inside portion.
and set that aside for a bit to dry. While that's drying, I'm going to go ahead and do my stamping. I went ahead and cut out some sticky notes with the balloon bouquet punch. You want to hold this upside down so that you can position this in here and punch it. And then I used that as a template for laying down my balloons and also the little uh, confetti that goes in the balloons. Watermelon Wonder ink. This is a photopolymer stamp, so I'm bringing in my stamping mat and I'm just sliding it under my scrap paper. Bringing in a scrap of very vanilla and I'm stamping off. And I want to be sure and hold my stamp so that it will fit my punch. So I want my little balloon with the nozzle end fa facing up. I'm stamping off. And I got awfully close to the edge there. It'll be okay. Stamping off again. I'm making four balloons. And because those were all lined up right, these should also be lined up. This is full strength. And I can't get my head quite down there to directly over to see if I'm lining it up. When you're stamping in real life without a camera, you should be able to get it perfect. I think that's pretty good. And then I can just sit, set it in my punch. my four balloons done. Bringing my mat in onto the top so you can see my next step. I'm going to turn these balloons over and I'm using my piercing tool, the wrong end of my piercing tool, and I'm just going to run around the inside of the balloon. And then once I get that border, then I can just kind of circle it around. I can get a right, nice round balloon that way. And repeat with each of these balloons. I went ahead and put come let us sit together and drink and eat cake on one side of my block. And then I can kind of see that coffee will fit between there. I want to leave room for my ribbon, but I also want room for my balloons. So I'll put this about here. Flip my block over and now I can stamp coffee. Perhaps you might also like to drink tea and cookies or hot chocolate or champagne. Your choice. I've just got a little bit of baker's twine. I'm going to snip off about um, maybe two or three inches for each balloon. We've got four balloons. And I'm going to put a dimensional near the bottom and near the top. Then I'll put the baker's twine on the inside right here and put another layer of dimensional because yes, we've got that much dimension. Now, if you're mailing these cards, you might want to only use one. Two dimensionals may add to your postage. But look at that wonderful dimension. I'm going to go ahead and do that to the other three balloons. And I've got my four balloons on my card. I'm tying a piece of wild wasabi ribbon around. I'm actually just leaving the ribbon on the spool. And I always like to use my spare pair of hands here. Just an alligator clip from the electrical department of the hardware store. And if you only pull one side, you'll have a prettier knot. Snip the ends.
bringing back my card base. I think I'm ready to add this. You're just going to pop these up. You want to be gentle with this. And you want to fold these. You want to crease at that fold. You'll see it best on the base. At this point, I'm going to just add those strips of designer series paper. And then adhere this down. When you adhere this down, you don't want any glue on that section. So I'm just going to, I do want glue on the part that's going to stick to the cake and maybe between the candles. I find it easiest to just put glue on one side. Center the fold. And I do like using the green glue because I do have a little bit of wiggle room here. And you want to have a little bit of space here so that when you fold your card, you can account for that fold. And then put the glue on the second half. And you know that that will work out perfectly now. Beautiful. This is where we're going to bring in our scrap from our designer series paper. And we're going to just adhere this to our card front. Don't worry about getting all those little bits glued down because we'll be covering it up. Center this on the card. And then bring this piece back and you could pop this up with dimensionals. I'm just going on straight on and center that over the designer series paper. And we have so much dimension with those balloons that I think that that's just perfect. So let's come celebrate your birthday. Happy birthday. The directions for this project, come on over to BevAdams.com and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.